Morning, everybody. Bit of chill time. So, got these three lined up because that's my Ford's. That's a V4, small as V. I mean, it's not the smallest they've actually ever made because they've even gone down to like an 1100. I mean, that's a two litre. This is a V6, and this is Ford's biggest V8. So, I'm going to get a run round on. Um, engines and that, show you a few old bits and pieces about them and just just generally, just a bit of knowledge if you want to know it, that's all, because I mean, you're not very often you get a four, a six and an eight in a line, so you know, so I thought, but I could, tell, I could show you right cars, but I thought it'd be a bit interesting on engines, because they're all early things and they've all got quite a few old bits of interest, so here we go anyway. Start over at four, and I'll go out a few bits and pieces with you. So, as you're all aware, with this car, it's a 70, as you know, it's got an auto light carburetor on it. I put a new old stock one on. It's also got a vent back at its, it doesn't have a return, it's a different system, it vents different. As an auto, the vent is on an overflow there. So, that's because it's auto light. I mean, they all go on about these at the Corsair engine and transit. Now, I don't Zephyr, they've got their own sump. Simple as, that's where you're at. And the dipstick is right down there. And you see it? It's at back, it's awkward. Now, I don't Corsair dipsticks, I think it's there. So, same as 3 litre. Now, 88 horsepower. Just a single, single choke. On Corsair, it's a twin choke Weber. So this gives 88. If you've got a twin choke Weber on a Corsair, 2000, it gives 93. Even though this is high compression engine, so that's what you've got. I mean, so this is what you've got under bonnet. I mean, you've seen it before. I've shown it before. Needs a bit of a tidy up, but I thought while we're going through engines, we'll go through them. So that's your V4. Have a quick slurp while I'm here. I like me drinking them on. It's a bit of a chill time, this. So, right, this is a 66, and this is actually a pre production car. This is a 3 litre V6. See, it's got header tank. A lot, I just like on V4. The V4 actually, in fact, I'll go back and show you. This has the header tank, comes off. Now, you can get a 3 litre without the header tank. And just where it's uh, filling cap there on top it's the thermostat housing now this is early car now this is debatable there's been a few arguments people said different things but this is an early car and this is actually 144 brake horsepower not 138 it's got its original Weber 40 on which later they became 38 the reason it changed was because they were th a bit thirstier you know they have different ports heads and so the slight the, they're just well they're just different but they give a bit more power out and they're a little bit more thirsty you know coils attached up here it's all factory this it's actually got a low compression dizzy on as you can see with these yellow these yellow marks point that out now it's an italian car left legger as you know it's completely factory this no nothing's been changed nothing at all so why it has that on, I don't know. Whether it were an issue with heat or whether they decided that's what they're going to put on them over there. Now, this car, I mean, you can't 100% see, but it's totally original. But it's actually got some green paint on its pulley because these engines originally pattern were green, the block. So it's actually salvaged some. And it's, oh, the only one I've ever known, it's got its rubber on its throttle there. That's factory. 
It's the only one I've ever, ever seen in my life. I mean, you can well, you can see condition at linkages. Because this car sat in Italy. But just to have a 40 car retro, because people just throw them away and nobody rebuilds them, and they're not over high. It's got its original alternator on, and its control unit here. Also, this is a control unit for your light. But that's a look at an early V6, so that's V6 out of way. And like I say, 144 Osses, not 138 early cars. They were quicker, but they were thirstier. You had to pay for performance. Then we come on to this. It's a 460, and the 4V does not mean 4 valves, it means 4 Ventura. So that's a carburetor. I've changed the Autolite carb on this, and I've put this Edelbrook AVS on. Now this carburetor, it actually vapours on its secondaries. They open on a vacuum, but it vapours fuel in it, and it makes a massive, massive difference. Now, this is, well, it's a big engine. Seven and a half litres. You know, it's very powerful. 365 brake horsepower, everything's there. As you can see, three six five four six five hundred pound feet of torque at two thousand two hundred. So the response from them is just unbelievable. The performance is unbelievable. I mean, this car's probably it's good. It'll be good for one thirty, but to get up there, it will accelerate like hell, and it, it weighs an absolute ton. And I mean, I know you're all thinking, well, why is he showing us a Lincoln? Because Lincoln is owned by Ford, so this is just top end of Ford, and this four sixty engine. I mean, there were, there were only 68, 69 that they developed power like this. And, I mean, don't think I've gained... I've, I've probably just made the car run a lot better by Edelbrook. It will breathe better, and it may, may produce more power, I don't know. But I've put it on for simplicity. The auto lights never work right, and I don't care what anybody says, they don't. So I've just put it on to make the car more reliable. I've also put an electric pump on, fuel regulator down here for pressure. Just... Improvements I've made, I mean obviously I've con altered all, kicked down linkage, throttle cable, I've modified everything. But I've done a proper job. I make it right. But this, the 460, 68, 69 with this horsepower. Then she started dropping, started getting air pumps. But this is an uncluttered, pre-emissions in America, muscle engine. And these engines run for about 20 years. Now, if, well... Well, they've still got a big following now because they had a performance engine. So, I mean, I'll go back round and I'll fire everything up so you can have a listen. I mean, I've got air filters off, but I can't see there being too much of a problem. You know, so. There you go. Well. Bit cold. That's your V4 running. Unusual note because it's balance shaft, but you've seen that before. So that's that one out of way. I mean, they're all set up right. Also, if you notice these cardboard bits when I'm filming, I put them on dash at all time. So then I'm in a situation where the sun's blazing down, it don't crack dash. We'll fire it six up. So long as they go, they'll go. <laughs> well, they've already started. As you can see there, we've... We can find right key, there we are, I think this is one. That's six. This has a return on its fuel, but it's actually built into the car ready there. Not 38, it's more. She wants a bit of throttle to be quite honest. I'll fire up again for you if you just get a couple of pumps. She'll, she'll go now, I would imagine. Well, she might just let me down, but hey up. Now, 
Here we go. We'll have a bit of fuel now. Oh. Well, you've seen it anyway. See what could do it. Just getting a bit of throttle, but. And then we'll fire at 460 up. So you've seen them all run. I think. I don't have any keys. Should have them here, I think. If I've got keys. Should have keys. So they are real, my videos are. Not like a campfire in your 460, because so I've obviously put keys down somewhere, but where? Oh, they're here. Here we are. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, let's. So there's your 460. Not a rattle, nothing. It's still the odd choke, it's got an electric choke and I've wired through. I mean, that does mount to air filters. I've obviously, like I've just said to you, I've took air filters off. And if I drop that vacuum, slow it down a bit because it goes into air filters. They have a lot of uh, vacuum stuff on these. They've got like baked bean tins all over. But anyhow, something a bit different. I don't know if you're interested or whatever, but it's just me. I come down and have a chill on a Sunday morning so give us a like if you like video subscribe to my channel if you want to see stuff like this because this is what I do Ask, pass me a comment if you want to know about them same as I say a V4 a V6 and a V8 it's not Ford's smallest V engine because they made some down to 1100 in um, Germany. So, on Cologne, not on Essex. You know, on Essex also, we're in a 1.7. But take care, everybody. I don't know if you want to watch this. Or it's something you're bothered about, but something a bit different for you. All V's together. Catch you all later. Bye for now.